Greater gliders are a really special animal to me. They have a really special place in my heart and they're an animal that you don't often get to see in these forests, but when you do, it's super special and it's indicative of really healthy forests too. Unfortunately, it often plays second fiddle to the koala. They're much harder to see and they live in places where people tend not to be, so they're often unknown. But when you do see them, they're just the most fascinating animal. They live high in the canopy, almost never come to the ground, just eating leaves. And during the season when they come together to make two little gliders, you often see them up in the branches with their tails intertwined. And yeah, just magical. Greater gladders live in hollows. They like hollows really high up in the tree, so often 30 metres high. They sleep in there during the days. They're nocturnal, so they come out to feed at night time. Greater gliders need special nest boxes because they have thermal requirements. Basically, they can't get too hot. It's also good if they don't get too cold. But in a warming climate, with climate change, we're expecting warmer weather more frequently. So we need a nest box that's going to be able to buffer them from those extreme temperatures. These nest boxes are not the answer to species recovery, but they are a stepping stone or, or something else that can help. I've watched greater gliders decline and these recent bushfires has been devastating personally. Undertaking this recovery work is very important. This project will help to be a stopgap for greater gliders. So at the moment they're dropping out of a lot of areas that have been impacted by bushfires and logging. So we need to come up with ways in which we can keep them on the ground for now. Longer term stopping habitat destruction is going to be key for this threatened species. When I came here and saw them and realized that these creatures were out there and I would talk to people about them and they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, come on, I'll, I'll show you. We would go spotlighting out in the forest and see these incredible kind of magical Muppet like Jim Henson kind of creatures living up in the trees that would glide like fly from tree to tree. And they're just a treasure, you know, for this country and totally unique. And I think the more people that, that know about them, the more that they will fall in love with them and want to protect them too.